Hi friends, how are you doing today? Are you considering buying an expensive GPU for training your deep learning models? Well, in this video, I'll talk about top five platforms that offer cloud-based GPUs absolutely free of cost without even requiring a credit card for sign up. But before we get started, a bit of story for you. So when I started learning about deep learning, and this was quite a few years ago, I was stuck with a MacBook Air for learning these deep learning models. And ultimately, I had to build my own deep learning rig. Thankfully, a lot has evolved since then, and you don't need to build your own deep learning rigs or invest into a high-end laptop. And that's where today's video should be extremely helpful for you. So we would talk about top five platforms which offer cloud-based GPUs. But how are we getting to those top five? So here are the parameters on which we are comparing our recommendations and different platforms. The first parameter is GPU model and its memory. The second parameter is persistent storage or the storage that retains after the power to the device has been shut off. The third parameter is usage limit, if any. The fourth parameter is runtime per session. So what is the maximum time your code can run before a timeout? The fifth parameter is the background execution. So which allows your model to train without you needing to keep the code open. And finally, the option to keep your notebooks private. So as you can see, all of these parameters are keeping the end user in mind. So how easy would it be for you to sign up and start your journey here? So my first recommendation to you is Google Collaboratory, which is also popularly known as Collab. It is a product of Google research and is quite popular among the data science community across the globe. The only prerequisite to using Collab is that you need to have a Google account. And if you don't have one, you may create it to get started. The free GPU model you get with Collab is subject to availability. Generally, you may get a Tesla K80 or even a Tesla T4 with GPU memory of up to 16 GBs. They also offer paid subscriptions called Collab Pro and Collab Pro Plus, with which you can get more high-end GPUs for training larger deep learning models. Talking about the pros of this platform, you get 15 GBs of data storage on Google Drive. You get longish runtime of 12 hours per session, and you have an option to keep your notebooks private. The only downside is Collab doesn't support background execution. So that was Google Collab. My second recommendation is Kaggle. And if you haven't used Kaggle so far in your data science journey, trust me, you soon will. It is home to 50,000 public data sets and 400,000 public notebooks and is nothing less than a gold mine for data scientists. Now, similar to Collab, Kaggle is also owned by Google and it offers you two GPU options, which you may choose from. The first one is Tesla P100 with 16 GB of GPU memory. And the second one is dual Tesla T4 with 15 GB of GPU memory. Talking about the pros of the platform, Kaggle offers 20 GB of persistent storage. The runtime per session is 12 hours and it allows you background execution of your machine learning code. It also allows both public and private notebooks and on top of this, you have access to all the Kaggle data sets. So all the thousands of data sets are included on the platform. The only con is that your weekly usage limit is limited to 33 hours. My third recommendation is Amazon SageMaker Studio Lab. Now SageMaker Studio Lab was launched recently by Amazon and is positioned as a direct competitor to Google's Collab. The best part is that you don't need to sign up or set up an AWS account or use a credit card. To get started, you just sign up for an account using your email ID. 
The free GPU model you get with SageMaker Studio Lab is Tesla T4, which has 16 GBs of GPU memory. Talking about the pros of the platform, there is no credit card required like AWS. So you can get absolute peace of mind that you may not get charged on your credit cards. It's the most powerful GPU you get among these free platforms we are discussing today. And you get 15 GBs of persistent storage along with background execution. The con includes a relatively low runtime of four hours and a usage limit of eight hours per 24 hours. And for now, you need to request for an account and then wait for a couple of days till the amazing team reviews your request and provides you the access. My fourth recommendation is Gradient, and it is a product by a company called Paper Space. The free GPU model you get with Gradient is Quadro M4000, which has a GPU memory of 8 GBs. Talking about the pros, you get a long idle time of 6 hours. However, there are a lot more cons to this platform. You get a low GPU memory of 8 GB. You also get lesser persistent storage, which is 5 GB. And you don't have an option to keep your notebooks private on free tier. And as GPU is subject to availability, there may be times when you face GPU unavailability issue, which makes this unreliable. My fifth and final recommendation is Microsoft Azure for student account. And as the name suggests, this recommendation is specifically for users who are currently students and pursuing their education. With this account, no credit card is required. You get $100 of free credit usage, which you may use to purchase Azure GPU resources. So for example, you may opt for a Tesla T4 which is the same GPU you get on Amazon SageMaker Studio Lab. The benefit you have with Azure is that you may decide to choose higher GPU configurations, which, by the way, might consume your free credits faster. So the pros include that for students, it's absolutely free of cost. You get peace of mind. There is no credit card required. And you access to a range of powerful GPUs with 50 GBs of persistent storage. It also allows background execution and an option to keep your notebooks private. The obvious cons is that you are limited by a $100 credit and you may get further credits if you keep your eyes on Azure promotions or some Twitter promotions which they run. However, you will be limited by whatever credits you get. Now to summarize, these are the five places to get a free GPU online for your deep learning work. If you have worked on any of these platforms in past, do share your experience in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel to get access to all our content related to data science and data engineering. And by the way, if you have come across a challenge or an issue in your journey as a data scientist or data engineer, pose those questions and we'll be more than happy to come back with strong content on those challenges. So look forward to seeing you in future and thanks for watching the video. Thank you.